Hey guys, today I'll be showing you all of my main speed cubes set up by the custom cube team here at speedcubeshop.com. I'm really excited because you can find all of these JPerm cubes on Speedcube Shop, and I'll be showing you what I like about each of them. So we're gonna start here with the JPerm RS3M. Oh yeah, I love this cube. So this cube is set up with lunar and weight one as the lubes. And then for the spring compression, it's set to the seventh click or the second highest one. These are some pretty fast lubes, but the spring compression is set to make it a little bit slower, which I think helps it to stay controllable while still pretty fast. And that's the main thing if you're going to be getting this cube is that it is quite fast. You're not gonna turn the fastest on this thing, but it is really easy to control and stable. So you won't be making a lot of mistakes. And that's why I think a lot of people really like this cube. And it has been my main for years. The JPerm RS3M is on Speedcube Shop for $24.99. I still really like this cube and love to recommend it, but I have moved on now and my main is now the Waylong WRM. The JPerm WRM Maglev or Worm is my new main and I absolutely love the way this thing turns. It's a little bit tougher to control for sure compared to the RS3M, but if you are at a higher level, you can definitely take advantage of this to achieve even faster turn speeds on your algorithms. This cube is lubed with Galaxy and Lunar and the setup on the inside, the spring compression is set to the lowest setting, which is going to make it feel a little bit looser and less stable, which allows it to also become more flexible and that's how you can turn faster with a cube like this. So if you are at a more beginner level, you may find this cube tough to control. And that is why I also recommend the RS3M. This one is for $49.99 and it is definitely something that could take you to even higher levels, but can definitely be tough at the start to get used to this. I've used a lot of two by twos in my day and I ended up coming back to this one because now it's my favorite because of how stable it is. And the thing with two by two is if you make one turning mistake, it can just destroy your entire solve. So I really value consistency in two by two and the MGC I think is the most normal feeling two by two and that's why I like it. The cube is stable itself and it's set up to be really fast. This has Martian and Stardust in it, which make it really fast. And I just think that I can definitely achieve my maximum turning speed on this, like with a lot of other two by twos, but this is definitely the most stable out of them that I've found. And you can get the cube set up just like this for $26.49 on Speedcube Shop. Next up, we have all of the JPerm big cubes, which is from four x four up to seven x seven. And these are all the MGC cubes and they are all set up the same way, which I will explain in a second. My main for 4x4 is the YJ MGC, and this cube is just set up to be as fast as possible with Martian, Lunar, and Stardust. You can get this cube for $37.99 on Speedcube Shop. And one thing I've talked about before with 4x4s is I actually kind of like a smaller size a bit more, but the problem with that is the slice moves can be a little bit tougher. So on this cube, I really like the slice moves, and so it has made my times a little bit more consistent. And so this is definitely my favorite right now now and the one that I perform the best with. For 5x5, my main is also the YJ MGC. You can get this cube for $39.99 on Speedcube Shop. What I really like about this cube is just how fast and stable it is, and it never really pops either, which is great. This is also set up with Martian, Lunar, and Stardust. The thing I like about all of these big cubes is they're just set up to be as fast as possible, and you do want to just turn as fast as you can with it being as effortless as possible. Otherwise, you're going to get really tired and you can't really practice. So that's why these are all just set up to be super fast. And even if you turn as fast as you can, you can definitely still look around and find pieces because let's be honest, you're not turning these that fast. For six by six, again, the YJ MGC, this is for $42.99 on Speedcube Shop, set up with Martian, Lunar, and Stardust, just all the fastest lubes again, and you're not gonna find a faster six by six than this. I actually didn't really like six by six that much until I got the YJ MGC and set it up to be really fast, because otherwise the cube just doesn't turn that well, and you're not gonna have a great time, which is why I really, really recommend this cube. Having it set up already can definitely give you a huge 
boost in your early 6x6 learning and not have you learn some terrible finger tricks because you're having trouble turning this thing. 7x7, seven seven, same deal. This is the YJ MGC with Martian, Lunar, and Stardust. It is for $53.99 on Speedcube Shop. And this, again, same idea as all the other cubes. It is just set up to be really fast. And you want to turn these as fast as possible so that it is not tiring to practice. I've definitely had slower 7x7s in the past where I have not set them up that well. And practicing was such a pain that over the course of a solve, I would lose energy and I would not be able to solve well. So you definitely want these set up to be really fast and also to avoid bad finger tricks. Now, a final tip I have for you guys is I actually have these cubes set up a little different than how they come out of the box. For the big cubes, what I've done is I've popped out the center caps in order to loosen them. So you just take a screwdriver, which comes with every cube, and put it on the screw here. For 4x4 and 6x6, there is no center cap, so you just peel away the layers. Then you can turn it counterclockwise, 90 degrees or even 180 degrees, and this can help make your cube faster. But the problem with making your cube faster is it also makes it looser. And that can make popping happen more often where the piece actually comes out and just ruins your solve and you have to put it back together. So I only recommend this if you can already turn quite accurately and you are a confident big cube solver. Otherwise, you can keep the setup as is because the custom cube team has made sure that these are set up not to pop when you accidentally corner cut. So I'm sure you guys have liked looking at this fancy Speedcube Shop mat, but let's be honest, this could look a lot better. We have some much better ones in the JPerm collection. So if you wanna get yourself a JPerm mat, we have the really cool mat and the really even cooler mat, and these are both on Speedcube Shop for $7.95 each. I like to have these mats so when I'm practicing for a competition with a stack mat timer, then I can quickly stop the timer like this without damaging the cube. You can also purchase these JPerm products in bundles. The JPerm Speed Cuber bundle starts at $36.43, and you can choose any of the cubes mentioned in this video, and it also comes with a JPerm mat and a JPerm cube bag. The JPerm RS3M bundle includes the JPerm RS3M 3x3 and the JPerm mini mat. The JPerm Speed Cube collection includes all of these cubes 2x2 to 7x7, but with just a choice of one 3x3, the RS3M or the WRM Maglev, and it starts at 226.44. So that was the entire JPerm collection, all of my main Speed Cubes. You can pick up any of these cubes 2x2 to 7x7, and the mini mats and the cube bag, and any of the bundles from the links in the description at speedcubeshop.com. Thanks for watching, and if you want the full JPerm experience, make sure to use the discount code JPerm at checkout, or there's really no point, is there?